What's up guys, Techmas here, and today I'm going to be talking about books and education and what is in store for education in the future. I'm joking, actually. The future of education is only getting better, and that's the good thing. Although, if you want to go on a tangent about how things are getting more controlled and people are watching you and things are getting more controlled, then it's not getting better at all. In fact, it's getting worse, and that's a different subject for a different time. But today I'm going to be talking about textbooks. Now, I work at a high school, and I work at my former high school, which I just graduated from, ironically. And we like the whole idea of using ebooks instead of gigantic textbooks. Now, I'm in a college right now. Guess what I had to purchase? This gigantic book, A Plus Guide to Managing and Maintaining Your PC. And I might want to add, the stuff in this book is ancient. We're just talking about IDE and FDD. And chances are you do not know what FDD is, or should I say, also, zip drives, floppy disk drives. But anyways, I digress as far as this is concerned. But the point is, this thing weighs a ton. This is like five times the weight of what I have in my hand. Which brings me to what I have in my hand. You think this is an iPad, don't you? It is a book reader. It is an awesome book reader. And it was essentially voted the most interesting downfall, but most selling device of 2011. Number two, compared to the iPad, I might want to add. Guess what it is? The HP finger pad, <laughs> or touch pad. As you can see, it has been touched. It's not a virgin anymore. Oh, I gotta keep it appropriate. But anyways, as you can see from this, it is essentially a tablet and a book reader. And that's why I got it. It is a great book reader. And I also got it for the sole purpose of doing this. As you can see, it's not your web OS, it's Android. Now, with the advantage of using Android is I can get all these readers. And so this heavy book that I normally have to carry around, which will weigh five pounds, at least, I have right here. And if you can make that out, you're a genius because it's way too blurry here. And trying to get it so it'll angle right, it's more trickier than it looks, guys. As you can see, the second one, which is the green one here, and I'll start it up here, and I have it right here. The whole point is, and I'll let it readjust, is I can essentially carry all my books around with me without having to carry this thing. This is about 60 megs, okay? This is nothing for space, but it weighs a ton because there's pictures and all types of stuff. So the point is education, as I see it, is slowly, slowly, because ebooks have been around since, actually, probably longer than I've been alive, believe it or not. Ebooks, I think, the first PDF came around when I was born, I think around the early 90s, so like 91, even a little bit later than I was born. So it's older than I am, essentially. So, like I said, we're slowly getting to the point of having textbooks be replaced with ebooks. And I think that's what's in store for Apple's next education event going on that. Is because Apple is planning this whole entire education thing in New York City, which I would love to go to considering it's right near my area in Connecticut. But on the other hand, I can't because the price is too low. Anyways, I digress, guys. But they're basically going to be talking about technology in education and probably updating iPages and iWork essentially and it's not iPages, it's pages by the way I might want to add so anyways they are upgrading and they are showing the world that probably most major major places are going the book way why not okay why not in fact it's even better and cheaper for the company and they'll make more money now here's another thing that I like with these devices, they're, they move, they have video, they have interactivity. 
Joan. Why not? These, on the other hand, although they're nice because they don't need power to power them up. Okay, you can't interact with this. The most I can do with this is throw this up in the air. And maybe throw it across the hall. Maybe burn it, but that's a different story. You don't learn from interacting with this, I'll say it that way. Whereas something like this, you can have a student look at a model. In fact, let's say I'm learning about the computer and I need to know certain parts. Well, I can interact with this. It's so cool because I can essentially say, okay, this is a CPU, drag one area of the CPU to there. It's a computer, guys. Essentially, I can work with a model. I can work with the, taking a computer apart without even having to actually go ahead and take it apart. I can learn this, and I can make mistakes on this device, and it won't end up causing damage. So, why not? I think that's what's going to be big for Apple this year, if they can pull it off, is having these interactive textbooks and having textbooks that are all ebooks. I mean, we're barely off of this. We can't even get plain printed textbooks, so it's going to take even longer to get interactive textbooks. But think about it. You can watch videos. You can go on YouTube. You can surf the net. But you, where is that point of fusion? And as you can see, that was the big book drop. So that's where I see Apple going, and that's where I see it in the future of magazines and tech, is to have everything infused in something like this, or an iPad, or touchpad, or whatever tablet you can consider. Tablets are the future of computers. I hate to say it, because I'm a desktop person and a laptop person, but tablets are the future of portable computers without having just for the basic home consumer, which most people are. Now, for the advanced people, computers will still exist. But anyways, that's pretty much the future of our tech as far as education is concerned. Having these interactive textbooks, and it's a lot more, it's going to go. It's almost scary to see how education is going to evolve, but at the same time get closer and closer and basically take your whole idea of knowledge and shrink it down so that you are essentially following the herd, I should say. If you understand that, then that's awesome for you. Now you get what I mean. But essentially, education is changing rapidly, and I'm excited to see the future in a good and a bad way. So thank you guys for watching TechMist, your source for tech. Definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more videos similar to this and talks about technology. Thank you.